weekend, it's Saturday today. I hope you're well. I haven't actually picked up my camera since we were on holiday. Um, I think just getting back to routine, getting back to work and just, I don't know, you know, you just, you kind of don't want, I didn't want to go back to work. I had 10 days off. Um, yeah, we've had amazing weather this week though. And I thought I'd pick up my camera over the weekend kind of to make up for it. And I, I've kind of been itching to do it the last couple of days, but my days have been really dull. So it's just been not much point. So um, yeah, I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine. We've had a bit of sunshine the last couple of days. Um, I think this potentially could be our last day of sunshine and then it goes back to really dull, uh, kind of drizzly weather for next week. But it could all change, you never know. So, um, oh yeah, I've just got up. I've just been making beds. I need to put a load of washing on. I've been just sorting out, you know, dishwasher stuff. I'm just gonna put my coffee on. Um, Alistair has been up since six o'clock this morning. Violet in rainbow's clothes. She clearly didn't get changed last night. My anniversary flowers. These are my eighth wedding anniversary flowers. I can't believe we've been married eight years. It's gone so fast. But yeah, I'm having breakfast. Got my granola, my fruit, my coffee, and the kids are in. I persuaded Alistair to come in to have breakfast. He was enjoying the sunshine, I think. Right, I've been faffing around, sorting stuff out, getting myself ready, just had a wash. Um, and we're gonna clean out Peter Rabbit, because it's one chore that we do on the weekend, every week. Oh, the chore. Usually I just crack on and do it purely because I make less mess, and I just do it. But Violet's gonna help me today, aren't you, Bye. Cause she's the helper. Right, Violet's doing the end job. I've just been hoovering around a bit, washed it out, just basically hose it down, freshen it up a bit. Um, yeah, that's his favourite box that he's had since his owners. What are you doing? We have to but I need to hoover. I'm going to hoover the rest of the lounge. We have to get Pete a new get him in. box. Get him a new box? Yeah. Why? It just doesn't like, I don't like it. It stinks a lot. <laughs> that is just animals for you, Vi. Once it gets warmer and warmer, he'll be going outside anyway, won't he? Just not iffy put, weather at the at moment. Bedtime he'll be he has been out a few times. At bedtime he'll be inside. I cleaned out the other the hutch, which is just like down this window. See it? Um, I cleaned it out, and he's got grass and everything. So um, he has been out there a few times when I've got like home from work. I've he's just put him out there for a few hours. Out. Um, it's allowed out so, in the big garden as well. Yeah, Violet takes him around the garden, which he quite likes. That looks like a nice bed, doesn't it? It, put his stuff back in, put his favourite box back in. Usually he has that there and he has a little snooze in there, doesn't he? He's happy. He's like, smells different. Might have to wean it now. <laughs> Bless him. He's a very clean rabbit, he's brilliant. sunshine for a bit. I've just heated the house and seen it cool off, although it's quite warm out here already. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the washing to end so I can put it out on the line. <laughs> I'm just going to chill in the sunshine. I've seriously need the garden sorted. It's another thing on the list. I also need to go for my wardrobe. Ugh, you know, you just have chores that you got to do but you just don't want to do I was going to do some weeding but you know you just like next week it looks a bit crappy again and I just think what's the point <laughs> it's gonna rain again and it's just gonna grow back so I haven't got any flowers to put in as of yet either so I might just hang on yeah just want to get the pool sorted the garden sorted yep let me buy what's wrong what's wrong Everywhere following me. Where? I can't see any wasps. He's going about wasps, but I can't see them. Poops up for a walk. 
Graham's been drilling, fertilising this week. Oh, what's the sun gone? It's getting cloudier. Drying up though, look. This was like a pile of mud. Like, only last week. It was like really bad. <laughs> How big the piglets are getting. They grow so fast. <laughs> it looks lethal, doesn't it? It's bad enough having one baby attached to you. <laughs> the pain of eight. I have just been filming a haul. As you can probably tell by the chaos behind me, I've also got the jumpsuit on, which I was doing a little try on with, which I absolutely love. You can see that. 13 pounds on Primark, bargain. I love, it looks so much more expensive. Um, you always find that piece, don't you? I've got this dress, actually. It's, it's not out yet, it's actually in my summer box. But I got this dress a few years ago it's kind of like beach theme, sort of, I don't know, it's a really beautiful dress. I got it from Primark years ago for £10 and I always, always get compliments on it and everyone thinks it's so expensive but it's not. It's literally Primark, £10. The kids are outside with the chickens. I'm going to do lunch in a minute. Bless them. It's, I think I'm going to bite the bullet and swap over some clothes. Dehoard what I have take charity or take to, give to my sisters probably actually but um I just feel like I'm really needing to do it and go through stuff that I just haven't worn this winter or for ages and then I can go through these two boxes excuse the chaos we're supposed to be having our ensuite done so we've literally got a blooming toilet and a new sink in here um but yeah these two boxes are spring summer stuff so having lunch outside al fresco Oh, I'm not sure that. Okay, you can sit there. It's fine. <laughs> I thought it'd be tip. Oh, it would tip, but actually, you're not that heavy. Mm, that's what they've got. Chocolate sandwich, crispies, fruit, so and a yogurt. Great. Yep. In the sunshine. Started my wardrobe, but I'm gonna tackle it in a minute. But as Graham's in, we're gonna have lunch, aren't we? Or have you had lunch? Have lunch. Oh. <laughs> See, I was doing the kids. I always think about everybody else, and then I just do myself after. I'm gonna finish off the last of the cinnamon and raisin bagels to match my lunch. I just had blueberries as well. Just finished off the last of this um, crunchy maple peanut butter. It's so good. Going through my wardrobe feeling really overwhelmed i swear i could close like six women it's ridiculous but you know when you're attached to clothes like as in you're attached to the memory i think and i don't really have places to store things just for the hell of it we just don't have enough storage in this house obviously in space and what's the point you know but um yeah i think i've done really really well considering the amount of clothes i've got and i've still got a lot of clothes still hung and i do think to myself i think over the next few weeks i'm going to contemplate whether you know there are questionable items that i was kind of like shall i keep shall i not let's see if i wear it in the next few weeks if i don't wear it it's going to go but i have sorted out two boxes of winter a big bag for my sisters like that is a huge I mean, I'm worried that bag's going to break. It's that full. And then I pretty much have... This is kind of like... This is a lot of questionable tops, which I really like, but I don't know where to put them. I don't know what category. They don't really hang well. They need ironing. Like, ugh. A couple of dresses here and these, like, shrug sort of cardy things. Again, I just wear them on hot days where you just want a little throw on over the shoulder. I've only got two of those. Um, these are my shorts. I did go through my shorts... And then my jeans and then the darker ones at the back. Jeans are staple all year round anyway. I have started on my shoes. I'm going to really gut my shoes because it's ridiculous. And then, um, so I try to colour coordinate it this time and see how that is going to go. It's really hard to do, especially when you've got a lot of stuff with like different colours and florals and whatever. 
but um, some old faithfuls have come out. I'm obsessed with this jewel shirt. I've had this five, six years and I love it. And it's just one thing that I just thought I'm going to keep keep out and then there's extra shirts and there's newer newer pieces in here um mccardies and stuff dresses lots of dresses lots of like kind of the same stuff you know and then some newer pieces in here as well i haven't worn yet i couldn't show you the process that much because my battery died so i had you on charge and still now i'm only at 26 percent so yeah, the kids have been so good playing outside. It's like five to two. So please, that is done. I think on the next agenda is the children's, obviously. Um, bags and coats. I have so many. Ridiculous. Don't wear half of them. Um, but I'm happy with the outcome. I mean, this isn't going to be forever anyway. We've got damp and the whole wall is going to be knocked out very soon. But um, yeah, it's a lot more organised and I feel like I have less of them anyway. See my kids exploring. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I will. <gasps> Such good children, aren't you? What have you been doing? Look at the state of your wells. A bee. Hi, bee. Why have you got so girly all of a sudden? Hey, my bees. Good state of use. Pretty lovely. It's got a breeze now. It's nice. It's needed. Let's walk in the pups again. Get them out. Too hot otherwise, don't you? A bit cooler now. God, hear those chickens. Ew. Probably guess Graham's working all day today, working all day tomorrow. The good weather means that they need to get stuff done. So, yeah, it means that just a lot of me and the kids at the weekend at the moment. We are actually going out for dinner tonight and we're going to the cinema. So we're going to spend some time together. Um, and tomorrow is a little bit different as well. But yeah, I haven't really seen him much this week. It's been really, really hectic because I've been doing some evening spins, like spinning classes. So I just haven't even i don't know i've been getting back like eight ish and it's just been manic you know what it's like the tree it's starting to go green finally it's nice Dog to see things Dog that's it go through the muddy as mud donk went through that bit as well and he could have gone through the dry bit but he went through that bit instead but yeah it's nice to see things going all green and oh Love it. I love those flowers, look at them. No, they're pretty, aren't they? I found chicken, how many chickens? Pretty, pretty. Hello, it's Goldie. Pass him. Gorgeous. Um, gold. Oh, Goldie. <laughs> Be gentle. He's not a toy, is he? Let mm. him talk. He's a good boy. He yes. loves being held. To run to get the washing in. Started to pee it down. It was, I mean, it, it did say it was going to rain at some point. So heading off to Nana's. Just drizzle, drizzle. Do you want your, do you want your waterproofs? Yes. Yeah. To the camera. Bye. For the camera. So see you in the morning. Use the camera. See you in the morning. Use the camera, right? Have a fantastic time at Nana's. She's waiting for you at the track, all right? Yeah. It's fair. Oh, you're changing lenses. <laughs> Hi. Not so well today. It's very hit and miss, obviously, most days. But I think with having the routine back in place and obviously them not seeing each other and spending as much time with each other because they've been at school and they're in different schools, um, it means that they have really been getting getting along, which has been nice. So nice them not fighting for a change. I think it's time for tea. I haven't had a cup of tea all day. I need to fold the washing that I got in. And I'm gonna sit down and watch Team Mum UK because there's a new one started. Right. I have been editing, um, getting myself ready for tonight. We're going, I think I mentioned, we're going to see Rampage. Rampage, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's got The Rock in it and I love him. So yeah, I had a really good reviews. Uh, I just put on this top, got some jeans on, 
very casually if you can see what I'm wearing. I've got a cardi with me because it is pretty lush out there, but I reckon obviously in the cinema it's always a bit cold. New shades from Primark. Yeah. Got you. Mmm. Got some nibbles, so we have got some Terry chocolate orange segments. Yum yum yum. Walking to the eye sense for the first time. Way up. It's Nick and the nachos. I forgot to feed the dogs. Some crazy lightning out there at the moment. It's stormy because it's been warm and obviously it's just like brewing. Um, Rampage was really, really good. I recommend it. It's a 12A. Um, and I'd say it's quite scary. It actually made me jump quite a few times. Um, but I think Alistair would love it. Violet would probably find it a bit scary. Um, but yeah, it was really good, wasn't it, Rampage? Rampage. Rampage. And then we went to Iguana's for dinner, which was really nice. I mean, it wasn't amazing. Like, I just had the um, coconut chicken. It's like a curry. And it just tastes like a normal curry, really. And then Graham had the chicken burger, didn't you? Yeah, it's really spicy. Yeah, so we're home now. Yeah, ten past ten. We're still going strong. We didn't have pudding because we just couldn't move away. It was quite busy, wasn't it? And it's two ages. Mm. Should we find something on telly to watch? Good morning, everybody. I can I, I've just been cracking on with the morning and then I forgot that I was actually filming the weekend. So, yeah, it's Sunday. I'm up pretty early, to be honest. But um, it's nearly ten past seven. Yeah, so it's Sunday today. And basically I've planned to see my friends today, I haven't seen them in ages, and um, up really early because we are going to go down to Southampton. My friend's um, fiancé, husband-to-be, um, is doing the Southampton Marathon, and I think it starts at like 10 or something, but we have to get down there really early. My friend lives in, my other friend lives in Central Southampton, she's got a parking space, so I'm going to park there. Pick up the girls, park there, and we're going to walk into town. So, um, yeah, we said we'd catch up for breakfast and just basically hang around and let her other half do the Southampton Marathon, kind of there, just to be there for him, I suppose, a bit of support. Um, and it's probably going to be quite a good vibe. It's a really nice day today as well. It's about up to 20 degrees today. It's probably going to be a bit warmer in the town. Be a good day. Should be a good day. It'd be a good catch up anyway. Graham's got the kids on the farm for most of the day. Just been getting myself ready. <clears throat> Trying to show you my outfit. So this is one of my new tops from Matalan. Matalan have so many nice tops in at the moment. So many nice things, very summery. Um, but this one is the lemon with the little, I love the shoulders on this. And even the cut actually, I think the cut is really nice. It's just no buttons, literally just a V. Um, I've just tucked it into a pair of Gap jeans, which I've had for years, or at least a couple of years. I don't even know. These might be the girlfriend style, but they're kind of a light wash. I only wear them literally spring, summertime. Um, and then I've got my next little satchel on. I think, well, I've got no kids. I need my purse, my phone, lip balm. That's probably it. Um, yeah, and I need to get a hair dye today. I'm also going to be wearing my tan sandals from Next, which you see in the Next sale if you've watched that. Um, yeah, I need to get a hair dye today. I was supposed to get one last week. And my hair, I keep wearing it up like this a lot of the time or in a ponytail, purely because I have so much gray, like I can't even, I don't even want to spend the time pulling them out. I know you shouldn't pull them out anyway, but people do. And there are so many that it's irritating that you could probably just sit there and pull them out. But it's gonna take forever. And also my hair, where well, I haven't dyed it since my birthday in January, I have so many different colours and shades. It looks even worse from the back, I swear. It looks kind of reddy yellow at the back. Oh, I don't know, it looks weird. And then the ends look really dark. So I don't know what I'm going to go for. I think I might go for the dark again at the top. Um, I usually do one colour. And I might buy a lighter colour and maybe do a little bit of like ombre or something on on the ends not nothing starking like I don't like anything too bright but um yeah I don't know just switch it up make it a little bit more summery beautiful day not a cloud in the sky I think someone's laying an egg anyway I'm going I've got to go I don't know whether to bring a jacket or not I don't really want to because I feel like I probably won't use it maybe I'll bring it in the car it's like, a, you know when you go out in the morning, it's quite fresh and quite dewy. 
So I might bring something like a throw on. Right, I am home. I'm a lot later than I thought I was gonna be. It's half past two. I've been home for probably about 20-ish minutes, but I did go to co-op because I didn't actually do a proper food shop this week. So I've been to co-op like three times. Um, only bought a couple of things just to like get us by because I've got food delivery coming on Tuesday. Just some basic things. I've got bread and I've got like the staples. So the marathon thing went really, really well. Uh, I went for breakfast, went to this art, I think it's called Artisan. It was okay, like it wasn't that great. Um, but it was nice to catch up with the girls and I was with them for a few, good few hours. Uh, my friends of the half did the marathon in three hours and like 40 something minutes. He was quite quick really, considering the heat, it was so flipping hot. Um, and then we were just listening to the live bands and stuff, it was just really nice. Um, I got some hair dye, I was saying how I wanted to get some hair dye, so I got these two. So I got the, um... Five Palmer, which is a natural light brown. I'm gonna put that on the top, sort of most of it, to be honest. And then I was considering brushing, because you can, I think it comes with it like its own expert brush, um, brushing a little bit of an ombre or just some, some sort of low lights, I suppose. Um, these were, I think these were two for 12 pounds, which wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that at some point. I don't know when. I feel tired now. I've done a lot of driving and it's been really, really hot. So I'm just waiting for Graham and the kids to get back so I can actually see them because I haven't seen them today. You know what? I'm going to dye my hair because otherwise it just won't get done. And I'll just wait and wait and put it on and put it off. And to be honest, when the kids aren't here, oh, I think they're coming. But yeah, I'm just going to do it. Because I need to have a shower. I need to wash my hair anyway. Um, I usually do it in the family bathroom. I did wash my feet as well. You know, you've been walking around in sandals all day and it feels like you've come home and you've got like black feet. So I had to like wash my feet off. So I'm gonna do obviously the dog first. It looks like I'm gonna have to do them separately. I'm not professional, but I've always dyed my hair. I've been like one color. So I'm gonna just crack on with the brown. A moment get this done, get my roots done, because that is the kind of most important bit at the moment. Hair done. Half an hour I've got to wait. I think it's like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how light your hair is. My family are outside. Right, it's having a moment, apparently. She's been having quite a bit of a moment today. It's, my hair looks so dark. This is the aftermath of my hair. Oh my God, it looks so dark. It still kind of looks two-tone, you can see it. It always looks, like this is obviously where it went natural, I suppose, but it always looks so dark at the end. So I have been editing for ages, purely because Alistair's been outside, he's been in and out, we've been just hanging out and watching a bit of um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And then I thought, Fan's mum was coming, um, but she decided that she hasn't. I do have some really good news though. Um, which is really nice and I wasn't expecting is that um, basically I fan the horse that we ha we have in the field with Bo she's obviously owned by someone else and she basically has said that she is going to bring her passport over next week and she's going to sign her over to me which is really lovely because I just didn't I didn't ever think that was going to happen because I know how much she loves her but obviously I take care of her 90 nine percent of the time yeah that's really good news it's really nice um that she kind of wants me to have her she doesn't have time for her i think i mentioned before she works a lot and i don't think you know the future of horses is just not for her anymore um but anyway it is five to five i want to see if graham bought some steaks back because i don't know what i'm gonna have for dinner tonight right Sorry, bad angle. <laughs> I've literally been looking at what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. I think Graham's bringing some steaks back, but like I mentioned, I did pop to co-op and Alistair, when I asked him on the phone, I was asking them what they wanted for dinner. because I said, I popped to co-op quick to get a few bits. He wanted pizza and I was like, you know what? We did have pizza on Friday, but he can have pizza if he wants to and I think Violet will probably have it. So they're gonna just put their own toppings on. And do you know how much this pizza is? Which I think is a bargain, £1.28 from co-op. And then you can just top it with your own stuff and it's a good size. Steak burger. Mm -mm -mm. So our little array. What 
watching The Gifted, I think it's called. Kids are in the tree. Violet was literally up here a minute ago. She's there. Come on, time for a shower. Hello, Pete. How are you doing? Hmm? I've been super sleepy all day. Oh, God. The bane of brushing long, knotty, this knotty hair. Ugh. Need to cut off, don't you, Vi? No. <laughs> Someone seriously needs to brush their teeth for bed. Right, finish off your athletics. Done, face down? Yep. Fantastic. You need to wash as well. Okay. Hey, sweet cheeks. Wait, wait, wait. I need to have This madam. Don't drink. Getting these kids to bed, it's like half past eight. It's a late one tonight, isn't it? They have so much energy, and because it's still so light, it's just time flies by. They were playing outside till like quarter past seven. And it's like quick hair wash and we've done Mama, homework, reading Mama books. Mama made this for me. Did she? To snuggle with. That's cute. It makes me sleep. Oh my goodness, it is really soft, isn't it? Mm. Let's come out to play. Peter Rabbit, now the kids are in bed. I am going to crack on with ironing. I haven't got much. Not much, she says. Oh. Seeing two of my favourite people, McQueen and David Attenborough. Queen Screen Planet. Has anyone seen this? I've actually recorded it, so I wanted to watch it, but I was two like legends together. Really hope you enjoyed this weekly this weekend vlog. Let me know if you have and if you've got any video ideas because I my mind and my kind of like drive is kind of like oh I don't know what to put out. So if you've got any ideas, let me know and I will catch you all soon.